here's what's crazy, AJ. Now we're going to talk about a movie that is 20 years old. 20 years old and garnered a lot of controversy, like a lot. And it's actually getting a sequel this year. Who knew? Um, but yeah, <laughs> didn't land the director in favor of a certain chosen people because 20 years old, AJ, is the passion of the Christ. <sighs> ah, now this talk. <laughs> that, that's not, ooh. Ooh, 20 years old. 20 years old. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. We was at school, bruv. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just leave him. But yeah, my God. Ooh. That hurts. <laughs> that hurts. That hurts to think. Because I remember the fanfare behind this. And having seen most of the film is, is, the, is the answer to that one. Yeah. Um, oh, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a serious take. What is the sequel? We saw the this. Christ resurrection, apparently. Oh, fitting. Easter's around the corner. Um, okay. Wow. 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 This, wow this, film, this film hits hard, though. This film hits hard. Doesn't it just? And look, at the time of coming out, was Mel Gibson kind of public enemy number one in the media eye? Right? Yes. Did this film endear him to people because of its very, very obviously critical tone towards Jewish people? <laughs> Israel? <laughs> and this isn't being anti-Semitic. It's just... No, it is what it is. That, it, Mel, Mel was going through some stuff at the time. Um, Mel was found out, unfortunately, to be quite the racist. Um, I would also like to take this opportunity to note that Mel Gibson has done a lot of soul searching and reforming and therapy and has found what seems to be a new lease of life and seems to be acceptable again in the public eye. I think, I mean, I still like him. Um, I didn't like him. One of those so great areas where you can't some who can't forgive. I mean, and you're entitled to, you're entitled to, no one can dictate, but yeah, I think his name is allowed to be mentioned. Mel said some stuff he shouldn't have said, a lot of stuff he shouldn't have said, and that stuff came out as this movie came out. So, of course, you paint the artist and the art with the same brush, don't you? But, you know... Especially, especially in a film like this. <laughs> it's kind of hard to <laughs> like... It wasn't favourable, put it that way. But ultimately, Mel didn't write those words. <laughs> Let's just keep that in context, yeah? Like... It's some biblical stuff here. I'm just putting it, it goes out. back a few years. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Um, but do you know what I thought was amazing? And this kind of paved the way for what he did with Apocalypto, which is an even better movie. Um, is getting everyone to speak Aramaic. I was like, Jesus, the dedication that the, 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 these Quite actors busy, went busy. through. It, like, nuts absolutely nuts like I feel, I feel like jim caviezel disappeared into literally nothingness after this movie his name crops up now and then but considering how good he is in this you thought this would be like a, a, a movie megastar making performance but it just never came to be if you haven't seen it it's a very very Probably very gory depiction very excuse me around. gory depiction of jesus christ's last hours on earth it's Ooh, it's heavy. It's really heavy. Do I play the trailer? <laughs> I want to know that. that I mean, it's on YouTube, so it shouldn't be. Yeah. Shouldn't Let's, be a problem. Well, uh, we'll see. There it is. <laughs> Discretion yeah. advised. Discretion advised. Yeah, content warning, potentially. Come on, baby. Here he is, the Messiah. 
Okay, we're starting. both gone quite silent watching this <laughs> anyone else feel the tension don't show it don't show it don't. oh we're so gonna get demonetized for this So that's a thing. Right. Right. Obviously, when you oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Is, we can laugh, joke, and we can talk passionately about stuff. It's not very easy to praise, laugh, joke, or be very humorous or lighthearted after such a trailer. Um Put it this way, there, there, there's one of two ways that this is going. You've either watched the trailer after our viewer discretion advised and you can see why we're somber, or you yeah. skipped past and you can understand we are somber because it's not an easy watch. And that's a trailer, let alone in the film, where there are parts that we said, like if you watch the trailer, maybe you close your eyes. I don't know how you've done it, but there are parts where we said, don't show it. However, the film does show it. Um, yeah, it's deep. I uh, put it this way: in a film of such a nature, my 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 thing is this: artistically and respectively, two thumbs up. Can even go to goat status. Yeah, recommendation. I have to approach with a one thumbs up because it's not for everybody. It's for those who can stomach it. That's my approach on it. It's like the concept is amazing, and whether you, no matter which denomination of religion you follow, I believe if you are open minded and have a strong stomach to visuals that can be quite horrific, 
because for all intents here, like we, we talked about demonetized, I don't even think it's worth even putting money on it because like I, to, to apply for monetization I, when I say that, because it's obvious that this is a very, tr- it, 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 it's a serious content. So it's very much, as we said with the trailer, I'm going to say with the film, viewers discretion allowed i i refuse to have anybody say the silver screen dude say this is a must watch film and then you are taking hours of counseling and you're trying to sue me for it one i don't have the money to i refuse to even accept that court case it's very <laughs> much on you be warned we have stressed on it it's a masterpiece of a film but you have to be of a certain strength to be able to watch it well, you've summed that up very well, mate. Um, yeah, I, I would. Uh, I don't have much to add to that, other than the fact that if we can look past the, you know, what was going on in Mel's personal life at the time, and consider the how well this movie's made, and it's such a horrible sentence, isn't it? Well, but it really is a master craftsman at the absolute peak of his powers, his choice of what to show versus what not to show his choice of getting the actors to learn Aramaic and the way he uses both close-ups and wide sweeping shots just to convey the sense of scale, but also the intimacy of the story. It Say what you will about the violence. It's quite the achievement for me. It, absolutely gets a two thumbs up and it nearly does push itself into goat status um i would say it is must watch but tread carefully it's must watch if you have a strong stomach 